Hello again and welcome back to this series on how to draw iconic images. The one I'm going to draw today is one of the most iconic in North America and it's a Native American hunter, a buffalo hunter, on horseback. So I'm starting with the head and the body is kind of angled this way. So the head, you can see at that angle first of all, in a basic shape coming down. And the angle of the shoulders of course will follow that line there. So this shoulder will come up and the arm which is drawing the bowstring back will come in about here like that okay and uh, the hand will come down and uh, be appear about there holding the shaft of the arrow which comes in roughly there okay the other arm comes in here there's the shoulder muscle, the arm stretched out, and the grip on the bow there, the fingers, the bow itself coming up in a curve, quite a deep curve, like that, and the other part of the bow coming down here, like that, okay, and the bowstring of course coming up and down like that. Other side of the arm here comes in like that, and as the body is twisted down this way slightly, you can see the pectoral muscle kind of going into the arm there, and the other pectoral muscle appearing here, and the line of the arm of this side coming down towards the pectoral muscle there. And then you have the kind of rib cage like that down to the waist. Okay, they move down to the legs now. This leg here, the thigh shape coming in like that. The knee bent back. These legs gripping onto the sides of the pony. So we'll be sitting here and the the back of the pony comes in about here, so that's the kind of line, imagine, there of the animal. And the arch of the neck comes in about there. And of course, you get the mane flowing up from that. The bow, a part of it, will be obscured by the flying mane. That's the kind of loincloth there. The head of the horse coming in, there's one eye there, and the other kind of eye showing, the kind of eyebrow shape there coming in, brow, and then it's ear, kind of angled back like that as it's flying along. And come down here towards the nose, kind of flating nostrils. Like that, okay. And the chest of the animal is in here. You can imagine going across that way. Um, this nearest leg appears about here. Coming up. And doubling back under it. It's almost as if it's kind of leaping as well. Gives that impression it's thundering along. Another leg appears in here. Look at that. And the belly of the horse in the curve there. And back of the horse coming out. And both bike legs are kind of driving it along. And so they'll be kind of parallel. So we get to one leg like that. Another one coming in. Like that. The tail flowing out about there. Okay, so I'd put in a few details now, like the saddle cloth, like a, almost like a blanket, I think, patterned on it. 
Native American Indian or Native American Treaty were very famous for their patterns on almost every item they had. And the, underneath that would probably be a animal skin of some kind. Coming around the edges doing that. Okay, and if you put more detail up here, if you can rip the cage shape in, it's the muscles of the stomach there, and then his hair, which is flowing back like that, perhaps with uh, the feathers coming out here, and his profile. A very strong profile with the forehead, nose, the mouth shape, and chin, yep. and the eyebrows, perhaps a cheekbone shape coming in there. Okay, I'm going to uh, put some pen walk in now. And I'll start with a fairly fine pen to draw the profile here. And a couple of lines, as I said, for the cheekbone there. And the hair sweeping back lines close together like that okay and again really feather shape again you can just use kind of dotted lines, you don't have to use the whole weight of the pen on there. It's a suggestion underneath there. Okay, I'm going to be doing a slightly heavier pen for the outline. Okay, I've got this slightly heavier pen now. So I'm just going to start with the hand up here. to get a wristband like that and the forearm shape coming in there with the shoulder shape coming in just behind her there and then this shoulder shape coming in here as the muscles of the forearm come in And again, probably another wristband there. I'll break it there because the arrow will go through that line there. Okay. And um, and his fingers around the bow here. Okay. And the actual arrow itself, I think I'll put in with a finer pen. First of all, I'll put in the actual bow shape. And the wrinkle those lines a little as it comes down to the grip shape like that and as it'll come down behind the horse's mane so up here probably in there like that put the lines of the grip in and then his torso shape and the muscle of his chest coming in there Rib cage, I'll get a finer pen just now and I'll a bit, a bit more detail on that. I'll put a bit of shading in here, try that muscle shape in first of all. Put a shading in there. And also you get kind of rib cage shapes coming down there, ribs coming in. And also I say that shape there with the stomach muscles appearing just like that. Maybe a little line down there and also around that part and also along here and underneath the 
like that. Okay, just to give the sense of the shading, shadows of the muscles and so on. Put a shadow under the chin. And what I forgot to do was put in um, a belt for the quiver of arrows. So it comes around behind like that. The quiver of arrows will be behind his head there. You can imagine it attached to the came down behind him. And will be appearing out here, like that. Okay? Uh, right. Now let's put in the bowstring, just a simple line like that. Another line coming down there like that, with the flight of the arrow coming in. Something like that. And the actual arrow itself. Coming along. To the arrow head. Like that, okay? And I'm going to be back to a thicker pen now for the rest of this. Okay, I'll put in the uh, loincloth now. That comes around the back and the thigh shape thicker at the top, curving over the top of the thigh muscle, and down over the calf muscle, down to the ankle, really narrow. Then we can put in the moccasin shape like that. Perhaps a few lines like that, okay? And um, the Saddle blanket coming in like that. And as I said, with these uh, patterns on it, possibly like that too. And the animal skin. Like that. Now do the back of the horse now. Nice big curve coming around to the back haunches. And the tail. And a few parallel lines like that. Okay, suggest that. And the stretched out neck. Now we do it with a kind of, not a straight line, but a few broken lines like that along that curve. And that means you can then get the sensation of the the main. You can just as they see the bow faintly through that. Like that. Okay, and the ear back, we've got shading in there, and the main over that bit. Perhaps going forward slightly there, like that, okay? Now the actual horse's head, eyebrow shape, and towards the nose, the mouth open. And this eye shape coming in here. And again, you can draw some Fine lines coming in. This is suggest the kind of musculature of the horse's head there. Shading in there, and some lines underneath there. Okay. Uh, also, you could put in a harness. And the bit also coming out of the hair here, in the mane, and appear under the horse's neck there. And then of course you have the arch, the horse's neck coming down towards its chest. And you could add some decoration if you like, you know, you could put in a couple of, like the hunter himself, a couple of uh, feather shapes. And then 
a few lines kind of suggested the muscles of the, the front of the horse here, the chest. Okay, move on to the legs now. Quite muscular there at the top. Coming up, kind of bump at the knee. Coming down like that. And then the hoof shape itself, narrower at this point, point getting broader as it comes around like that, you see? And the other knee coming in there, you know, doubling under. And then the belly shape. And the back haunch broader there, getting narrower as it comes down. And you have that kind of bump there and then coming down to the hoof. And say narrower then getting broader as it comes up like that, you see? And then the other back leg coming in there. So there we have the outline, and what I'll do is with this pen, is put a few of the darker lines in, bits of shading, like that. But I'll then move on to the finer pen again. Okay, a bit more dark shading in there, definitely. Also, when his leg is in contact with the the pony, All right, and then perhaps you the lines here, and then you can draw lines coming around like that, following the curve of the horse's underside like that. Okay, and if you want to make it darker, just go across those lines like that. Okay, um, same with this. You get these muscles come down the top of the leg there, and going across. Uh, a bit of shading in there. I think what I'll do with these back legs is put a bit of dark shading in here, but I won't do it all the way down. I'll just bring it to about there so the light's catching this part of the leg. Okay? Uh, but this back one, I think I'll, I'll shear in completely. Make it almost in silhouette. Like that, okay? And I'll go across there, make that slightly darker. And around the back of the horse here, a few lines to suggest the curve in the muscle. Like that. Now back up to the leg now. Again, there's a long muscle going along the end, the length of the thigh, so you can put that in and a line for the knee. And for the calf muscle. And bits of shading there, perhaps back of the quiver there. Down here. That's a bit more there. Okay. Well, I think that gives you a, a good idea of uh, the quite dynamic nature of this wonderful, iconic figure. A Native American buffalo hunter. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you can join me again. We'll be drawing another iconic image for you. But uh, of course, in the meantime, all the best and happy drawing. <laughs>